Hey folks, I just wanted to show you my wood fired all seasonal water heater. Uh, I was have used once in the house with the water jacket and all that, but then you had to have a fire in the house. But so I need one this fall, so took a gas fired water heater, took the gas part off, stripped it down, built a fire box. Basically sat that on there, built a fire in it, comes out the little chimney there, short one. And then, when it's hot weather, I take that 55 gallon drum that's wrapped around the gas, the old gas water heater, and capture the flue gases in the wood stove, and it goes out the tall pipe. Nope, like that. But anyway, to show you the, there's the lines going in and out of the house. Insulated. Took a 55 gallon drum. Cut that top rim off, then took another 55 gallon drum, cut it off at that second seam. Put the high point right there to where it would be flared out for water drippage and uh, also just would be easier to you know, slide over the other one. I was going to screw and nail it, but don't need it. Gravity does it. So, plus that gives me a place here. I made a notch in this barrel here. Uh, for the two pipes to come out. Got a drain at the bottom and there then is my firebox. But the 55 gallon drum is basically for uh, catching the flue gases. It's, it's Everything's insulated. I just left a channel uh, in there for the flue gases to run around. But the simplest part is the, the little firebox heater. There's a the little stove pipe for it. Goes up to the center of the gas water heater. And then you look at it from this direction. There you go again. There's a thing. And then there's the firebox for, you know, uh, warmer weather. Well, I don't want to heat up the inside of the house. And basically all it is is just a little paper brick stacked up and uh, got a little. Uh, air vents for that, so once I get that firebox filled, it takes about two fillings of kindling, it's about 8 by 8 by 12 inches uh, to get 40 gallons of hot water, so that's bad. So it's real high tech. I've got to get the fire built real well. I just close it up with a couple old brick. And now she's closed up, ready to. give up the heat it goes up through the center of that gas tank and comes out that little pipe now in the winter time like right now there's the flue pipe coming out of the house I've got it run into my 55 gallon drum and from that seam to the bottom I've got a channel that wraps all the way around that tank then Insulated from there on out. Now, all insulated, but I like the channel. And then they got a channel that comes up this seam right up through here and goes out that pipe. Works real well. Um, all the hot water we need. And plus, I still left the water jack and everything intact in the house, and and I just preheat the water before it even goes out here. So, I mean, I've got a stream of hot water without trying. I'm tickled to death with it. Uh, Catching waste heat that I had anyway, and and it's uh, in the fall and summer and spring it takes just a little bit of candle under twigs I pick up in in the woods. Um, there's always two or three trees fall down every year. I don't cut any live trees. And, uh, it's either cut down trees and put up a solar heater or just use what falls down in the woods. So. Uh, I went with the just doing the scrap wood, but anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, and there's my house. Carried all this up here, but I'll give you a little tour of my house one of these days. But anyway, see you guys later.